Good evening. Uh, thanks for this opportunity to speak. My name is Dr. Sandra Steingraber. I'm a biologist at Ithaca College. I live in Trumansburg, New York. The environmental impact statement that will open New York to fracking is 537 pages. That's more than three reams of paper. Printed out, it weighs 15 pounds. I myself read the whole document online because the DEC website encouraged me to do so on the grounds that paperless study prevents pollution. In fact, the DEC website tells you exactly how many pounds of air pollution will be pre prevented if you do so. It's too bad that the 1,537-page document does not inform us exactly how much air pollution will be produced by fracking. <laughs> 62,000 wells times 1,000 truck trips per well, plus condensers, compressors, pumps. How many pounds of ozone will that create? How much formaldehyde? How much polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon? How many pounds of benzene? And how many more premature births? How many more cases of asthma, lung cancer, stroke? heart attack. How much lost productivity due to illness? How many additional school days of absenteeism? What are the costs to Medicaid and Medicare? How do these costs compare to revenues generated? Air pollution is a known cause of premature death. How many more funerals? And how, many, how do the projected number of additional deaths caused by fracking-related air pollution compare to the number of additional jobs the industry provides. We in the scientific community know how to estimate pollution and project human health impacts from the data, but the SGUIS chooses not to engage in this analysis. It contains no comprehensive health assessment. In the 1,537 pages of the SGUIS, the word children does not appear. The word cancer appears just 10 times. Look in the yes guys for the words lung, breast, blood, brain, carcinogen, endocrine disruptor. Look for the word pregnancy. You'll be looking a long time. The yes guys emperor has no clothes. It does not protect us. It does not seek to understand the threats to our health posed by this carcinogen-dependent industry. Therefore, as a biologist, as a cancer survivor, and as a mother, I call on the DEC to withdraw the SGUIS, all 1,537 pages of it. Meanwhile, benefit of the doubt belongs to New York's children, to my 10-year-old with asthma, not to the things that threaten them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay Spear. Back now. Back now. Back now. Back now.